Praise 1025 Atlanta's Inspiration Station. Nico here. It is time for Nico's new, new music. And today I'm joined by a very special guest, Ambassador David Gilliam. And he's also going to be talking about Impact Nation as well. And this new single, Be Glorified. How are you doing today, sir? Extremely excited. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, I got a chance to check out Be Glorified. Record is phenomenal, first and foremost. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about it because when I was reading over everything and uh, after I heard the record, it said that during the time of recording, you were actually in a place of going through some things. And, and for me, I love to hear how people can come out of situations because you don't know who that can help. Right. So yes. take us through that process of what was going on in that time and how did Be Glorified come about? Well, I was actually going through some physical uh, issues and recovery, trying to recover physically. And I had uh, pneumonia at the, the, the day that it was recorded. And um, I actually had to have oxygen um, administered to me and then come out to sing it right before I came out to sing it. Wow. And interestingly, so while I was ministering the song, uh, the healing came right in the midst of it. Yeah, of course it yes, did. Sir. Of course yes. it did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's talk about Impact Nation for a while because you put them together, correct? Yes. Yes. So, so how did that come about and, and how did they get included on this great record? Well, Impact uh, is the name of our church. It was uh, it started off as being Impact Church. And um, the Lord began to show us about how that is not, no longer just building a church. You're building a nation, a yeah. prophetic people. And it sort of kind of went from there. We had lots of uh, concerts and we brought in m m many of the big name artists in, uh, probably 25 or 30 of them in, in a year or more. And um, and it just sort of kind of grew um, into a, something bigger than us. And uh, what the, the ministry is bigger than us in general, but it grew. Then after... Um, that the Lord began to speak to me about doing a music project. And I noticed that some of the musicians that we had were comparable to the musicians that we were bringing in. And he showed me that it was necessary for us to begin to record and to share some of the music that we hear, hear all the time with the world. Yeah, I love that. I love that. It's a beautiful thing when you, when you can find uh, great, great talent and, and great gifting in your congregation already so I, I love the fact that you were able to make that happen with them when you when you when you hear these lyrics be glorified lord be glorified lord oh lord be glorified in my name uh in life lord be glorified what 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 does that mean to you when you hear those lyrics well you know life is full of ups and downs and there's no way around it uh, scripture says that man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble yeah. And so we are learning that no matter what we plan for, we don't know what tomorrow holds. But whatever we do, depending on our reaction to it, God can actually be made to look good through it based on how we handle what comes. So in the good times, God get the glory out of this. In the bad times, God get the glory out of this. Persecution, suffering, whatever goes through sickness. And ultimately, we're not here to stay. So one day we're going to go to him and he's going to we're going to remember um, that uh, it was him that brought us through this. So it's just a, um, a mantra, basically, to keep us yeah. focused so that no matter what's happening, we know that ultimately he's going to be glorified through it. I love that. I love that. Yes, uh, so b before I, I let you go, I always like to ask, what is something that's on your heart in this moment that you want to leave with the people? Uh, it can be whether you're talking about be glorified, the, the record, or in general. It's interesting that you say people, because ultimately, I think a lot of times in ministry, we forget that it's really about the people. Oh, and man. that the main thing is to care for the sheep. And I, that's where ultimately my heart is. And it's the most important thing. And uh, <clears throat> a good shepherd lays his life down for the sheep. That's... It, well, Man, let me tell you something. That's amazing that you said that because literally on my drive in today, God kept telling me it's about the people. It's about the people. It's about the people and not to bring another artist in. But I did an interview yesterday with Joel Barnes and his new album is called The Good Shepherd. And we literally was talking about exactly what you just said. So it, it, it's like confirmation again yes. that it is about the people and how we need to get back to the people 
Wow. Yes, sir. I love that. I love that. Ambassador uh, David Gilliam Sr., uh, Be Glorified is out. Listen, I love the record, and I love a breakdown. I, I love the breakdown and the switch up in the record as well. So uh, we we definitely would love to support you at some time uh, here at Praise 1025 in Atlanta, man. And just keep doing the great things that you're doing and keep giving us good records to play. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Thank you.